Hey there guys, my name is Jordan from Cider Fries and welcome to Bacon Bacon with Jordan! Sponsored by Tangle. Today I'm going to be breaking down the Gushers floating shop from our latest spot, Irma Gush, along with giving you the do's and don'ts so you can pull this off on any old budget. The idea in theory was to shoot multiple plates. That includes our background plate, foreground plate, a plate of our inflatable floating man on green screen, and a final plate of his legs dangling, also on green, that we'll later composite in post. Once we settled on a game plan, we set out to get all the VFX gear we'd need. Our gear list includes a green screen for our key, along with sandbags, a stand, and clamps to rig it. An inflatable body ball for our on-screen inflation. This was tested by yours truly in a sweet pair of short shorts and found online for about $40. A couple automatic air compressors to inflate our body ball. And several sizes of the same shirt. To be safe, ours ranged from large to 4XL and were changed out as our inflating man got bigger. Once our camera was locked on its tripod, we started with the background plate. For those of you that don't know, background plates serve as a visual reference for everything that goes on behind our actors, and those plates are incredibly useful to any visual effects artist when he's keying or rotoing or masking, etc. Secondly, we got our foreground plate. This basically involved our two lead actors following an imaginary point upwards in order to simulate our inflated man's ascension to the heavens. Ah. Once green screen was prepped and ready to go, we flew in our inflated man and had him cheat his eyeline downwards as if he were higher in the air looking down at our other two actors. We then matched that new perspective by lowering the camera on the Y-axis only. Once we got a performance we liked, we flew in a table that was high enough for our actor to sit on so that his legs would be dangling. These legs will later be applied to his body to simulate the weightless floating effect without the need of a crane. Now that you're out of the sun and in your finest robe, it's time to enter the glorious world of post. From here, you'll want to open whatever visual effects program you use most, but if it's not After Effects or Nuke, shame on you. Seriously, I'm disappointed. Once I was inside After Effects, I went ahead and imported my footage. I started by using Primat Keyer to key the inflated man's body, but you can go ahead and use Key Light or any other plugin that you're used to. I then covered our stomach trackers with a few quick patches and threw that freshly keyed sucker on a background plate. From here, I brought in our dangling legs plate. Now it's worth noting I did make a mistake on this one. I didn't take the time on set to effectively light the green screen for this shot, which means on the post side, I was unable to pull a key that I was satisfied with. Boo, you suck! This unfortunately meant I had to rotate the legs by hand, frame by frame. Once those legs were masked, I went ahead and threw those puppies on the upper body we keyed earlier and finally added the foreground layer of our actors watching him float upwards. Now I gotta say, once I finished up, I was really disappointed with the outcome because even though we used a practical inflation method on set, this dude did not even nearly look big enough to float. So I tweaked it a little bit. I duplicated our inflated man layer and ballooned its size. I then masked his upper body into a perfect sphere and duplicated him three more times in order to isolate a right arm, left arm, and a head layer. Once I had those three isolated layers, it was pretty easy to reposition the right arm, left arm, and head and make sure the proportions were accurate. I finished up by adding a few extra things, like fixing the trim on the bottom of his shirt, giving him an animated shadow to further cement him in the scene, and of course, giving him back his chest pocket. Because what's a man without a solid chest pocket? Now let's hop back over and take a look at our final product. Hey, guys. Shh. I'm reading. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thanks for taking the time to check out this making of, and remember, next time you order a meal, get a side of fries. Bacon, bacon.